So here's the story. I get on a kiteboard forum on Facebook in New Hampshire. So right before I take a nap, I decide to uh, put a post up. Hey, if you had some time in New England to go kiteboarding, where would you go? And one of which that said, if you go to Chatham, Cape Cod in Massachusetts, you'll get to hang out with the seals and the sharks. And uh, so I decided it'd be a fantastic place to be. So that's why I'm here in Cape Cod, currently Chatham Beach, or what beach am I at? Hardings Beach in Chatham, Cape Cod. That is uh, pretty much the beginning of my time here in Cape Cod. And that's Nick. Nick is another kiteboarder who is on the forum that I'm on, who too is living out of his van, just making life happen because what else can you do during the coronavirus when you don't have a job? Hey Nick, come wave real quick. Are we live? That's Nick. I filmed this so that you could see exactly what I have to go through to kiteboard this beach. And now I don't know how I'm going to turn the camera off. Ooh, I can use my kiteboard. There we go. Alright. I uh, don't know how long it's going to take me to turn this thing off. But um, I'll catch you guys on the... So let's talk about what's about to happen here. So kiteboarding, pretty much simplified is you strap yourself to a kite, you go out when there's a lot of wind, and uh, if you're daring enough, you shoot yourself 30 feet in the air and hope you don't break yourself, break a rib, break a face, get eaten by a shark, or um, break your kite. So I'm gonna attempt to do neither of those
I got to hang out some seals. Oh my gosh. They were all over the place. It was awesome. This place is tough. A lot of current, a lot of, a lot of stuff going on. So you remember that kiter I was just high-fiving in the video a minute ago? I was high-fiving that guy. That's Nick. Nick from New York City. Nick, what do you do? I program lighting for TV shows. He's a TV, he's a TV show dude. He makes things happen. For Oprah? <laughs> Not for Oprah. Right. Hang on one second, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. All right, so I'm here in Chatham and there's this incredible Chinese restaurant that has figured out how to send the food in the most, in the safest way possible. <laughs> thank you. All right, thank you, bye. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. All right, that's good. <laughs> Oh, you guys are awesome. And I got my fortune cookie. <laughs> this is, this has to be the absolute Asian most paradise. innovative way I have seen to deliver your food from at least six feet away. Asian paradise. That's where you gotta go to do this. I would say just come to Asian paradise just so you can get your, uh, your... <laughs> And that's how you take it apart every night. Wow. So yeah, come here just to get your fix on using this thing, just to support the, uh, the ingenuity that went into this. <laughs> so cool. So this is one of the beauties of living in your van that I didn't really uh, go over too much when I was in New York City. Uh, which by the way, van lifers, if you are in Brooklyn, you know, I don't know how you do it full time because it was absolute hell trying to find really good water in Brooklyn. Um, I did manage to find it. It just wasn't the absolute best tasting because it came from some businesses. And uh, I don't know, maybe they just pay differently for the water. Anywho, so I'm here and all I did was just go to a gas station. That's kind of what I always do. I go to the gas stations and I look for water spigots. That's it. And then I just have that little filter on there and I run the hose right to my water tank. And that is pretty much how I fill up my tank. And if I'm taking a shower like every two days, I can usually get by with running this 22 gallon tank for about four days. But after that, it's gotta get filled up. So I try not to take too many showers. Excuse me, but yeah, that's kind of how it works. I literally just take a hose And I run it right to a spigot line, but It's not always perfect. Sometimes I've run into where it's like stuff that's heavily chlorinated or just smells funky And then I have 22 gallons of funky water to deal with which usually I just use to take a shower then But it is what it is the many charms of living in a van. I kind of like it. It's fun. It's challenging Makes life interesting. The Servi Mart, the Servi Mart. I 100% guarantee that I'll be patronizing your Mart tomorrow. I really, really appreciate the water. I hope after, if you see this video, you do not lock that water for other van dwellers to use. It's very kind of you. Like I said, I will totally patronize. I'll buy beer. I'll buy some of those um, microwave burritos and all that other kind of fun food mart stuff from the gas station and um hell yeah, i'll even buy gas from you tomorrow that's all i'm gonna do mr murphy <clears throat> i hope i get to meet you in person tomorrow thanks again all right we are about an hour into trying to figure out where to go um we've been to three different spots nick how are you feeling I, i'm ready for a beer I'm Nick, feeling good. I'm feeling optimistic. Nick is somewhere in there, somewhere over there. Nick is somewhere in that direction. This is his van life, homies. This is van life, 100%.
approximately 2.30 in the morning. And us three people who are in a van, sleeping in a van, obviously sleeping in a van, are just chatting away. Loud as hell. Right next to the water. Until 2.30 in the morning. Yes, we were chatting as if we were just hanging out in our own homes. And, um, yeah, of course, the cops going to show up and tell us to leave. Just as we were about to get to bed. And so now, the three of us are looking for a new spot. Which we may have found. But, we did pass the cop on our way to our new spot. So, what's going to happen? Uh, you got a 50-50 chance. Either you're going to get knocked on, door knocked on, or you're not. I'm recording this because I'm curious to see what's going to happen. Are the three of us able to go to a certain location together and actually sleep through the, sleep through the night, or is the cop going to come? Well, I stand corrected. We didn't get in trouble for the second time. And Jackknife is where we landed and ended up being a pretty incredible spot to sleep. Go or Jessica. I'm living good and ever I'm living real, real good. introduce you Jessica. Jessica is the one who found this place and also the one who the other person I met. Is she decent enough for the camera? Decent, yeah. She's decent enough for the camera. There's Jessica. Kite, kiters on Facebook. Remember that post? Remember whoever tagged Jessica? Well that's Jessica. Mike Cohen. Hey Mike. Mike. What's up Mike? And there's Nick. Uh, he's making some lucky charms. <laughs> I mean, come on, look at this place. It's so cool. We actually stand out and not get in trouble for talking. It's a great spot.